What's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Black Myth Wukong. My name is Raven from the Sky. Since we now have the uh, Stone of Sturdiness mask to open up some of these areas here. Then we're going to go back to the Tiger Temple and use it to open up that as well. Now, I don't know if it opens up a shortcut or what. Does it open up a shortcut? I'm not sure where this leads. Or should I op go back to the Tiger Temple? First, and then come back. I'm not sure where this is. What the heck is that thing? He's huge and he's guarding the bridge. To get to the, <laughs> I have to go through him. What's up these steps? Oh, that's basically back to the cave. We've already, I've already been in here. I think these doors, you can't even open these doors at first. Yeah, cause I remember that area over there. So that's basically, yeah, almost like a shortcut. I wonder, is this like a shortcut? Oh no, that's the, oh, the shield, the shield guy. Uh this weasel okay <laughs> so he wasn't raised a weasel part of the rodent family though wise in the wise wayward hearts yet shunts the lonely monkish arts on the yellow ridge of desolation ends a tale by separation ever since the strange wind stirred again at yellowwind ridge life had grown harsh for the lesser wise tiger vanguard and king of flowing sands fought for dominance troubling the weasel kin caught between the two powers one day the weasel captain sat by the sand field brooding over years of humiliation thoughts of death took hold in him as he found and withered found a withered tree he hung his belt stepped on a pile of stones slipped his head through the news regret came as he kicked away the stones in agony and dizziness he struggled but freedom eluded him just then someone held his feet a gleaming sickle sliced through the air cutting the noose the weasel captain collapsed gasping for air and saw a gaunt crone with a medicine basket if you loathe to die live well she said and left unbothered by his nature transforming into a weasel the weasel captain followed her home a dwelling with a crumbling with crumbling walls and an empty barn she lived alone after the death of her husband and son foraging for herbs to trade in order to survive the captain, moved by their shared misfortunes, decided to stay and help. Disguised as an old man f fleeing famine, he claimed to be alone and found shelter with the crone. By day, he, haunt he hunted in Yellow Wind Ridge. By night, he enlisted stone sprites to mend the house. Together, they thrived, much to the villagers' envy. One day, two villagers trailed the captain, curious about his hunting prowess. Little did they know as they watched him, that he was suddenly transformed back into his original form, a cloth, we a clothed weasel guai with a gleaming curved blade at his waist. Feeling threatened by a non-human, the villagers spread their tail, and a doist was summoned to slay the weasel captain. Not long after the weasel guai was killed, the crone passed away. The villagers, deeming the house cursed, divided the hides and herbs before settling, set, before setting the place ablaze. Wow. Sad story. Another weasel back there. More. I need like 
four. I need to save up like four thousand plus. They're just sitting there. Attack them before they. chance to attack. What's this? That's my core, wheel. What else over here? Ah! Scared the bejesus out of me. It's another one. So they just sit there and don't move. Let's head back. Um, across this bridge. Did you did? Okay. The wind, the wind, it's like you can't have seat. Finally, I needed that licorice too. Looks like this could be like a sub boss area or something. Poison. Doys.
I'm at an AOE. An area of effect, man. He's gonna sit there. At least he doesn't heal. What was he guarding? What is that on that tree? I would like to know. <laughs> Almost had him too. Another freaking sub boss. It's not even not even good. No 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 no. Oh my god. Well, what happened to you? Easy, easy. This befits you grandly. Hey, luckily I've kept it close for its rightful owner. What is that? A pluck of many. Blowing strands into the air creates duplicates. Oh. Oh, yes. This leads to where? I always want to make sure you have the max. I don't even have enough to get the the, the, uh, the leg, so we have to come back to that. But you always want to make sure you have the maximum. For these boss fights, it's ridiculous. I don't really need to buy no medicine. Sir. It's more so buying ingredients now. Make medicines. Tree perils. Oh, great. Damage reduction. Critical hit. I need snake head mushrooms. Got the ginseng.
pack of mini. Oh. I ain't done with you. Bloody, I know that darn thing. They respawn, I know they have. I don't want nobody interfering in the fight. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this guy off. Here. Poison is gonna watch this. caught me. Daoist. Gorai Daoist, a strange man with a lump on his back and a staff of blood red hue. He leaps and bounds with eerie might, a hundred eyes glowing in the night. A strange visitor once came to the Temple of Yellow Flowers. He proclaimed himself trained in the mystic arts upon the Mount Ling Tai. Submit now and yield to me the thing he told the master of the temple. And you will be spared, Beetle Commander, was sent to subdue him, and the man was sealed in a cocoon sack in the cave. Yet days later, Lesser Gwai brought word to the master that the sack he lay sundered. The sack lay sundered, and the captive had escaped. At this, the master gave nothing but a smile. Since his escape from the cocoon sack, a fleshy mess studded with many eyes that sprouted from the man's back. He paid no mind to this horrific sight and continued his wandering practice. He passed through a desolate mountain where bandits ran rampant and the nearby villagers lived in squalor. Here he chose to settle and summon rainfall. By his arts, the blasted peaks grew green with elms and willows and the slopes cloaked themselves in pines and firs. After his efforts, the once barren mountain saw years of clement weather and the people of the lowlands flourished in number. Yet the bandits cared nothing for an honest life. They saw the greenwood only as a fresh plunder and a growing number as ripe for the hunt. 
The man then took on the guise of an enlightened monk and went among the bandits' hideout to spread the wisdom of the Buddha. In the end, even the bandits forsook it evil and came down to the mountain to live in peace years passed then came a day when the man entered the village and raised a ritual staff at the entrance from its crown poured a blood red light every person it touched fell into a frenzy tearing at each other as if under the thrall of some evil force in mere moments the lowlands became a pit of slaughter and the ground overflowed with blood of the slain on the man's back the hump gaped wide with countless eyes unveiled. Slowly they supped the spilled blood and sundered spirits. In no time, the lump had swollen even larger until it could absorb no more. Only then did the eyes slowly close. The man came back to himself and removed the staff. He then set out for the next place to settle. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. I wonder if that the last we've seen of him. At least we got blood of the iron bull. Is that it? Huh. We need to rest. We're slowly freaking dying. Oh! Formal Gorai Dorist type like a toad. Stay within the glow and your your attack will be enhanced. The staff vanishes on its own after a while. Back to this temple. Okay, I think I, like if we would have went the other way, I think I saw that where you would, you would slide down here, and end up right here. All of them ends up like a shortcut. If I go this way, the other one sage, I think. Let me let me go back and open the. Before we proceed any further. I can craft the uh the greaves now. Okay. Nice. Okay, um I'm gonna go back to where Crouching Tiger Temple. I think he has like a, he might have something, what's behind him? He might have something under that pool of blood. It seems obvious. Oh, I hope he didn't respawn. I am not fighting him again. Looks like we won't be getting that secret if he's st standing there. Okay. I was hoping he didn't because it's, it's a main boss. They should stay defeated. Uh, 
and there it is. His hidden lair revealed. Oh, I'm intrigued now. I want to see what's in there. It reminds me of that that uh, it looks like that like an um, maybe you guys. I don't know if you guys have seen Aladdin back in the day, the animated film, not any of that other stuff. That's where they found the genie. That was good. Movie. Disney makes it really good. And they make it really good. They make good ones now. Really good. Back then. It's almost like you taught. You could, you could learn like a lesson from the movies. The Lion King. All dogs go to heaven. Shoot. Like you got some type of lesson out of it. I mean, those, that's just like the two rival companies like Disney and Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon had to me had like the TV shows, the live action TV shows online. Disney was more so like the animated. Had that on lockdown. Frozen. What the heck was that thing? It's a spirit. Give Civet Sergeant. Civets. Is that what they call it? Civets? Moderate. Take the form of Civet Sergeant. Juggle twin blades and hurl them at the foe's chest. One strike in the foe shall suffer the agony of a pierced heart. Them things were dead. They almost, man, they almost took me out. God, Lee. Take that, thank you. Missed it. It was a thing at the top of the. Like you have to time it. 
see if I slide all the way down, it's gonna lead, that's gonna give us lead us back to where the other shrine is. Well, let me I'll save it right after. You scoundrel! How dare you disrespect an immortal? My connections in the celestial court should. <sighs> You again. It's, it's you again. Likewise. Uh, you've missed with the Yogwai. <laughs> May Lord Lao illuminate your path, brave one. What you got? Longevity decoction. Maximum health. There we go. Yeah. Uncover the secrets of sky and earth, and thou shalt have pills. <laughs> Come to me any time <laughs> if you need more pills. <laughs> oh. From yin and yang, five elements emerge. Each nature inherits its unique creation. Each form embodies a universe. Let me see a box. Oh, you just undo it and get your cores back. Oh, I like that. Like, if you make a mistake and realize, nah, I don't want to do that, you can always. Okay, I like that. You can get your stuff back. This game is really well done. I know it can, sometimes it can make you rage. I'm telling you, fighting that Tiger Vanguard. Oh, I came so close to quitting this series. So you're sweating trying to beat him. But I will give credit where credit is due. This game was really well done. Simple as that. Craft anything else? I think I've crafted everything I could craft. I haven't. Oh wait, the bronze. Oh no, these are. That would have been a waste. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. See you grow. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.